How's it going? Hope you're having a great day and that your last week was awesome. I just want to say thank you for letting me take that time to recalibrate. Um, if you haven't seen the last, or I don't know if it's the last vlog, but a few vlogs ago or so, I started cleaning things up in the studio to prepare for a studio tour. It just needed organized. It's not 100%, but that's, I think, the great thing about having this first studio tour of the year. We'll see where it goes from here. So let's get started. So I figured I'd start with the editing station where I edit photos, work on the website, all that kind of stuff. So this chair is by Clutch. It's a super nice chair. I had it for years. It literally still feels like how it did when it was new. All the photo editing and video editing is done on the MacBook Pro. This is an iPad mini with a generic Apple Pencil, it works fine. I got a notebook, this is just set up now to organize content going forward. And this is a vintage iMac. It doesn't update anymore, but what it is is kind of storage organization for files, and it's also just like where I view content on YouTube or if I'm watching something or listening to something. It's done on the iMac. This monitor here is my gaming monitor. Um, I don't get too much gaming in, but when I do, it's on that. That's a BenQ monitor. And that laptop there is uh, just an old school laptop that has old emulators on it so I can play some vintage games. I'm not too sure. Also, I'm not too sure if I prep the wrapper under there and over through there. It's, it's probably like 20 terabytes of files. They're all backed up as well. I rigged this uh, tray on here with shoelaces and nails and screws and tacks probably, but it works. This is the mic I used to record my podcast. It's just rigged on this thing because it's just a little portable mic. I had to attach a, a mic that doesn't work anymore to the middle of the arm to counterweight to, so I can just like move it properly and whatnot. But yeah, that's uh, what I use for uh, the podcast Photographiliac. Here is, uh, this is just a side table I use for drinks, when I'm eating food, all that kind of stuff, so I'm not putting anything up on the actual desk, because I'll spill it. And this table over here is basically my print table, getting things, taking photos of for the website, all that type of stuff. So there's still some things up here I want to scan, but this is a pro printer, does large format prints. This is what I use for the website. So I still need to get more of these carts because I'd like to have another, at least one other one sitting here, but this is shipping supplies, more shipping supplies, and stuff to make stickers and some packing tape and stuff like that. Now this table over here is kind of just like a place to put things, plus my more of just like art stuff like paints and I've been just starting to get into like wood whittling and stuff like that, so I have the supplies for that. And this really is just like a multi-purpose table. You know, it's here to make things easier for myself. And now the shelves. Uh, this still needs a little bit of help, but I started getting it organized. So up here's just, you know, camera boxes and all that, but the Lego camera up here, some vintage Ninja Turtle toys. This is my very first digital camera. This is my very first film camera. It's our wedding day in New York. My dad's gas mask back there, and the, the satchel that came with it. William Eggleston's Democratic Forest, a complete series. Things legit. Extra printing supplies, a bunch of paper. Down there's like art paper, watercolor paper, all that kind of stuff. And over here is more books and just random things. My favorite thing on the shelf is this 1992 Stretch Armstrong. It's mint in the box. Sometime I should just make a video on this toy and take product photos or something because it's definitely my favorite. And, and you don't really see too many in this condition. I bought this years back. I spent, and I actually spent years looking on eBay for a good one. I also love how it has a KB Toys uh, price tag still on there because that place was awesome. Uh, Ryder brought me his Fetch Armstrong and there's a mini one up there. G.I. Joe photographer set. Scott Howard, you know, Teen Wolf, classic. Um, I don't watch too many Marvel things, but I love that this Peter Parker has a camera accessory. So, I, I thought that was perfect. This is my camera, Fuji X100V. Down here is some more classic stuff. Uh, WCW NWO Revenge on N64. Bret Hart Wrestling with Shadows, signed and uh, 
drawings done by him in person. Uh, in a package, Vince McMahon Bone Breaker, classic stuff. Um, Abaddon and Hepburn photo, uh, a graded Judy Garland uh, oversized card, uh, graded Judy Garland uh, stamp collection with a uh, worn, uh, worn piece of her clothing into the card, which is pretty rad. Obey Uno, photo books, more photo books and things just need to organize on there. This is Ryder's setup here. This is his uh, Pokemon setup and the classic Dunkaroo sword display. I recently got this workbench to do two things. One, to be a bench if someone's hanging out in here, and two, to actually try to work out. I was on a really good process um, pretty much up until I had COVID, and I haven't worked out since COVID, so it's been a solid, I feel like, three weeks or so since I've worked out, so I need to get back in that process. This goes outside, goes outside. This is the closet that you can see in the last vlog. So I actually want to get some type of shelving thing out in the studio space and out of this closet, like for the scanner, for the book binding uh, setup, there's the binder there and supplies, some bags, my camera vest, all my straps are hanging up. Um, I got this uh, tripod gimmick here. Um, I'm probably gonna set that in another room. I just have it in here right now. Um, that is more art supplies. This could be organized and maybe even condensed out and use that for something else. Um, some hats and stuff. This needs cleaned up a little bit. Um, there's a bunch of my old sketches and new sketches. Just, you know, all my sketches I basically put in there. Um, I don't even remember what I put in the bottom one. So that still can be worked on. Um, I got, got that new bag. It's like a really small, slim bag for winter shoots. Um, if there's a big snowstorm, I'm gonna try to shoot a few times, hopefully this year. It hasn't even snowed yet. Um, there's more snow gear back in there, and business cards are back in there. Um, that's a drop cloth thing I got for Christmas to put on the ground. If I'm up to something like painting, like which I wanna do, it's see these doors and trim. And I uh, can't beat this eyes wide shut mask. Classic stuff. Hope you enjoyed the studio tour here. And we'll definitely set up another one, maybe here in a few months or something like that. Maybe we'll just do an update and just see how things are going. See if I can change this shelving unit situation. Um, I do have some new shelves down there to put up. So once we do a new episode here, I think a good spot putting up a shelf would be over here. And I can put some of the stuff up here, or maybe some more paper. So yeah, I'm excited for uh, to see where the studio goes. Um, I'm happy to kind of have more cleaned up and organized and it just got stuff out of here that was not needed or just turns into things that are in the way. Anyways, I want to thank you for hanging out. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you tomorrow.